Philadelphia has a rich ongoing history of firefighting. It has one of the oldest established fire departments in the United States and has come a long way since those early days. William Penn established Philadelphia in 1688 because he had witnessed the Great Fire of London in 1661, he was aware of the potential destruction of fire. When he planned Philadelphia, it was planned to be as fire resistant as possible. Streets were wide and made out of cobblestone, and the buildings were made out of brick with slate and tin roofs. Firefighting today is much different than it was in the 18th and 19th centuries. Uh, we have much more modern equipment. Uh, we have aerial ladders, uh, tower ladders, uh, pumpers with much larger capacity, uh, and state-of-the-art equipment in most cases. In Philadelphia, uh, Ben Franklin was a, he, he, he was a pretty intelligent individual, and uh, he realized the need for fire prevention as well as firefighting uh, capacities in the city with several of his friends and businessmen in the city of, of Philadelphia uh, formed the Union Fire Company on December 7th, 1736. And that was the first independent organized fire company in the United States. By the late 18th century, there were uh, probably between 20 and 30 20 and 30 fire companies in the city, um, and they were all engine companies. Um, the, the initial hand engines or hand pumpers, whatever you want to call them, um, they, they had a, a well at either end of the, uh, the pumper, and uh, they would form uh, two lines from a water source, whether it be a pond or, or what have you, or a cistern. And, they would pass buckets full of water from the water source to the engine, dump them in the tank or the well, and pass the empty buckets back the other sides. The initial pumps were way smaller. As time passed, they, they grew larger and uh, had higher capacities. They didn't really even have hose initially when, once they got some of these hand engines. They, uh, they had what they called like a play pipe on the top, which was a long brass tube uh, or a copper tube, and the water would flow from the pump out through that on the top of the engine. Prior to having engines, they just used what they called bucket brigades, which were private citizens, firemen, whatever. They would, again, pass, they'd form the bucket uh, brigade lines, uh, the two lines, and they would actually throw water on the fire with the buckets, pass the empty ones back and go from there. So we've made great strides, as you can see. The members of the, uh, the early fire companies and even you know, the later volunteer fire companies in the city uh, were prestigious individuals. They, they could have been attorneys, they could have been uh, uh, judges, uh, business people, uh, and so on and so forth. And uh, a lot of them took money out of their own pockets to help finance the beginnings of, of the company that they belong to. The first water works was uh, over uh, on the Schuylkill River by where the art museum is now. They were able to put water mains in the street uh, and at that time uh, they started putting hydrants systems in the street so that the companies could actually attach to a hydrant. Prior to that there were uh, hexagonal or octagonal shaped uh, wooden hydrants, if you will, uh, and they'd flip the lid on those, drop their tube down inside of it, and basically just pull water out of the cistern or whatever the fire source was. So this gave them a better, more efficient capability of fighting fires in the city. If there wasn't a, uh, a, a hydrant, they could actually dig down to the wooden water main and they would use the hand auger to, to just drill a hole in it and when they were finished, so it didn't leak all over, they would take a wooden plug and hammer it into the top of it so that it, you know, it was good for the next time. And that's how the term fire plug came around. We call them fire hydrants today, but earlier they were referred to as fire plugs and they were cast iron. The Harmony Fire Company was actually organized on August 20th, 1784. They served 
actively in the city up until approximately 1855 when the city uh, organized their city volunteer fire department after annexing the, uh, the various municipalities that surrounded what was then the city of Philadelphia. They, uh, they had a prestigious history. We know that Franklin Hose Company number 28 bought the charter of the Harmony Fire Company number 6 in 1867. The me their members decided it was much more prestigious for them to assume the name of Harmony Fire Company or Engine Company 6. And they were headquartered out of the building, Broad Fitzwater, yeah. The hose companies in Philadelphia didn't come in and organize actual hose companies until the very early 1800s. And the Philadelphia Hose Company number one was the first hose company about 1803. And uh, uh, several hose companies came on board afterwards. They had the large reels. Uh, the engine companies, their job was to get the water on the fire. The hose company's job was to get the water from the hydrant or water source to the, the, uh, the hand engine. In 1855, the first ladder company uh, came into being, or hook and ladder company number one, and uh, that was the uh, inception of the actual organized ladder companies, and they would have ladder wagons. Initially, all these things were drawn by hand. So when people ask about why were there so many firemen, and why were the firehouses so quick, uh, so close together, they had to pull it there, and then once they got it there, they had to pump the brake arms to get the water through the hand engine. So it was, it was a pretty laborious job. And when they initially placed the horses to pull the steamers, um, they did not have a seat on top of the front of the steamer for the driver to sit. When a steamer came into play, the Franklin Hose Company 28 bought the steamer and placed it in service. The Harmony was still used in hand engines in the early 1850s. So they did not have a steam fire engine because again, the first one came into the city in 1858 uh, for full use with the Philadelphia Hose Company. Uh, once Franklin Hose uh, purchased the charter from the Harmony Engine Company or Fire Company in 1867, then they, they decided to go with that name again because it was more prestigious and the organizational date was 1784 for the, for the Harmony. So at that point, it became the Harmony's steam fire engine until 1871.